a mandatory feature in pro monitors in production and post houses around the world, is calibration. The reason for this is regardless of the technology, monitors drift in colour accuracy over time. This can distort the way you shoot, giving you a false sense of what your camera is capturing. This principle continues further down the pipeline. Once you ingest your rushes and prepare for your edit and colour grade, you want to be sure that what you shot and monitored in the field is accurately displayed in your post environment. Atomos are the only monitor and recorder brand that offers calibration on their panels. In partnership with calibration experts x you can use the i1 Display Pro to calibrate your Atomos monitor to represent a true D65 white point. When shooting, using an x right color checker, in this case the Passport Video, you can be assured that you've nailed your white balance. Another quick check to confirm this between calibrations is to look at the vector scope on your Atomos monitor. Here's what you need to get started. The x right i1 Display Pro, an Atomos USB to LANK cable, the Atomos calibration software, a Mac or PC with the x right calibration software. Go to atomos.com forward slash support and download the Atomos calibration application. If you have the old Atomos calibration application, first uninstall that. Connect your x right i1 to the USB port of your computer. Using your Atomos USB to LAN cable, connect your Atomos monitor first, then connect the USB to your computer. Open the application, then hit the detect button. It's recommended that you select native to calibrate to your highest brightness point. Select match if you wish to calibrate multiple units. For color temp, select D65. This is your standard white point. Select D93 for the Japanese white point standard. Place the x right i1 with the probe on the center of the screen. Allow the screen to warm up for approximately 30 minutes. Hit the calibrate button. The screen will flash through different colors while running the calibration. A calibration complete dialog box will pop up after the calibration is complete. A graph will display with the calibration results and the changes applied. Hit the next button to see the grayscale calibration to your target color temperature. Your Atomos monitor should now be calibrated. Now it would be a great idea to also calibrate your editing monitor with the x right i1 to also be at a D65 white point. Go to xright.com for full instructions on how to do so effectively. Now with your field monitor and your editing monitor calibrated, you can be confident that your colors are accurate. For more information, go to atomus.com. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And as always, happy shooting.